Hey everybody, this is John from Code Planet. Uh, welcome to another episode of our video series. <clears throat> Today I'm going to pivot a little bit just because of some of the poll results that we got on CodePlanet.io. Uh, I'm going to talk just a very, very basic introduction to React, which is the big new um, UI JavaScript framework from Facebook. Um, there's a ton of great documentation and tutorials around React, but I think one of the problems uh, that makes it a little bit difficult to get into is that typically when you look at this documentation, there's a lot of new stuff going on. So you'll typically see uh, <clears throat> using some kind of um, loader like Webpack or Browserify, you see some kind of transpiler like Babel, you see new languages like JSX. Uh, and then you see a lot of ECMAScript 6 or ES 2015 stuff. So when you're looking at a React tutorial, it looks like this totally crazy different language. Uh, and so kind of the point of this series is I just want to show that you don't really have to learn all of those great new things at once. Uh, you can kind of take them uh, as they go. And so what I wanted to show is like a very basic introduction to React with what I think is about as minimal as you can go. Um, for those interested in getting started, uh, the React website, which is facebook.github.io slash React, has a bunch of really great uh, information, including um, a getting started file that you can download. You get this starter kit, and it's a zip file, and it's got all these great apps in it. But we're not going to look at that today. We're just going to get a really simple example. Um, so in preparation of this, I built a really, really, really minimal starter kit. Uh, you can find this at github.com slash jcoop, J-K-U-P, slash webpack dash react dash starter. Um, and so the basic idea here is all we have is um, this app folder here, which is where our code's going to live. And we've got our main.js, and it just imports the main React library. It imports this special hello library that I'll show you in a minute. And then it calls itself, it runs main, and all main is, is it does a react.render hello, and it renders it on a div, a get element by ID of app. And so we'll look at component.jsx, uh, let me make these a little bit bigger, and this is the hello that we're importing, so export default class hello, and all that does is it calls this goofy looking function, uh, which returns this, this markup. So right here is the JSX, which is kind of the confusing part. Um, and we don't really want to focus too much on it, but if you're, if you're more interested, you can actually do all this stuff without JSX, uh, and you can just call them as JavaScript functions. But I think if you just kind of go with it, that JSX allows you to put this kind of HTML in a JavaScript function, uh, it's a little bit easier looking. So yeah, so we basically we import this H1 here, uh, into our main JS, and then we just render it uh, on this ID of app. And so where that is going to end up going is into this build file. We have an index.html, really, really, really basic, and it's got that div ID of app, and then it's got this bundle. So the reason that a lot of these React tutorials uh, look confusing is because, as we saw, React very, very frequently uses JSX, um, which was the stuff back here, this JSX file. Uh, and in order to get JSX to work in the browser, it doesn't work by default. So you need to do something to it. Um, and you need to kind of transpile it into straight JavaScript. And so because of that, you have this kind of dependency on using something like Webpack or Browserify to do that transpilation. So we have this Webpack config.js file here. It's kind of the last piece of the puzzle. And if we open that up, it's pretty minimal. Uh, basically what it does is it takes that main JS and it outputs it to a file called bundle.js in the build directory. And um, the, basically we're using Babel uh, and we're using it on any JSX file. So this, like, I would really encourage you, even if you don't fully understand how it's going, if you're looking to play around with React for the first time, uh, I'd recommend going to this package here and just downloading it. You can get clone it. I've got instructions right here. Um, and so let's just see kind of what that experience would be like. So if you just go anywhere in your terminal and git clone my jcoop slash webpack react starter package, uh, it'll make a new folder here. We can CD into it. We can see just like we saw in GitHub, uh, you know, the app folder, the build folder, all that stuff. Uh, and then back to the instructions, we do an npm install. 
Uh, and while that's running, I'm just going to pop over uh, in, in a similar folder here. Let me update ZSH real fast. Um, and I'm going to CD into that same directory that we are in uh, and just take a little look at the package.json. And so this is like pretty basic. It's like a lot of the stuff that we've seen before, name, description, all that stuff. Uh, the two things that I want to point out are here on line 7, I've made an npm script called build. So if you type npm run build, it'll basically just perform the same thing as if you ran webpack. And then the other thing is down here, I wanted to look at our dependencies are just the React library, but our developer dependencies are Webpack, a Babel Loader, and Babel Core. Um, again, even if you're not super familiar with this stuff, I would really recommend this as just a very vanilla way to get started with everything. Uh, so I'm going to close out of here and see how we're doing. Okay, we've got everything installed, which would be Webpack, Babel, and React. Uh, so now I can go ahead and I can run... Um, either webpack if I had it, if you did a global install, or you can just do npm run build. And what this is going to do is it's going to go through, just like we saw, it's going to go through everything that's in main.js here, and main.js links to that component, it imports from component.jsx, and it's going to run it all through Babel, which will turn it into regular JavaScript, and it's going to dump it into a file named bundle.js. So if we look here, we can see that bundle.js was created by Webpack. Um, and so you'll notice here on the GitHub repo, if you look in build, you'll only see the index.html. But now if we look on ours, now that we've done that generation, we look in build, we'll see index.html and we'll see bundle.js. And if we look inside of it, we'll see kind of a lot of crazy stuff. Um, so basically this is like generated code generated by Webpack and it does all these different things uh, including it has our app code here. Uh, so you can see like in these comments here you can see what composite components came from React uh, and then eventually you see like all this crazy code. This is really not stuff that you need to understand um, but this is like this generated React JavaScript. Uh, so now that we have that done, we can just go ahead and open build.index.html inside of our browser, uh, remembering build.index.html was just this basic thing that has this ID, links to bundle, uh, and we can see that it says hello world. And if we look at the page source and, uh, sorry, go into bundle, we'll see this uh, might be too big to open, it's too slow. But if you go into that bundle, you'll see that same generated amount of JavaScript. So then real quick, just to top off this. Uh, this video here, I just kind of wanted to add a little bit extra because now that you have npm install done, you can start playing around a little bit. So you can go inside app, you can go into our component, and let's just change it from just an h1, we'll change it to uh, an h1 and maybe a paragraph tag. Uh, so a thing to know about React is if you can't have multiple elements that are just side by side, it needs to return a single DOM element each time, which means that if you were going to do like an h1 here, we can actually go ahead and do it. Um, so if you do like this h1, and then you have uh, it end here. Let me move these over. Sorry, got my spacing off a little bit. Um, so this should work just the same, but if you then added like a paragraph tag here, um, hello from code planet, uh, and close that out correctly and then we run webpack again, or npm run build, whatever you prefer, um, you're going to see that once this loads, we're going to get some errors because we're not returning a single uh, DOM element now. We're returning two next to each other. And so what you would have to do is you would have to wrap it in something. Like you could just wrap it in a containing div is the thing that I see most commonly. Oops. Uh, so now we're returning one element, even though it has other elements inside of it. That's okay. We'll go ahead and run Webpack again, and once this is done, it takes a second, uh, once it's done, it emits a new bundle.js, so now if we go back to our index and refresh, we'll see the hello world, hello from Code Planet. So basically, like, if you're looking at a React tutorial and you just want a really, really simple way to get started, 
Um, I'd recommend going here, grabbing this thing, running npm install, and then you can start playing around. You can put anything you want in this component. You can make other files, and as long as you import them from main, every time you run Webpack, uh, it'll build it out for you. Uh, you'll have a nice, fun little playground. Uh, hope to do a bunch more React videos. Just kind of wanted to get a very, very, very beginning introduction to it uh, so you can kind of see what it looks like and start playing around yourself. Thanks.